for the love of Ivy. Vegas is a done deal. All the showgirls have put their clothes back on. Lots of awards given out. Most of them were obvious. Most of them were exactly what we expected. The one that I couldn't quite get my mind around was the Moog Problem Solver of the Year Award given to Drew Blickensderfer of the number 17 team. First of all, what the hell kind of an award is that? The Problem Solver of the Year, it feels like Moog approached NASCAR with wanting to sponsor some sort of an award. NASCAR didn't have anything left to throw a sticker on, and NASCAR didn't have any awards left, so they just made one up real quick in order to cash in on Moog's sponsorship money. They were all out of awards. The Problem Solver of the Year Award. What are the criteria for that award. I can't begin to figure it out, especially given the fact that Drew Blickensderfer won it. Exactly what problems did Drew Blickensderfer solve? These are the questions that are going around in my mind. What did he solve? But the more I thought about it, what problem did he solve? The more it kind of made sense. Scary, I know. I mean, look at that team's performance. Drew Blickensderfer, yeah, had lots of problems. Lots of problems that 17 team faced this year. The problem of expectations. They started the season by winning two races in a row. Expectations were sky high at that point. Problems. What about the problem of, of pressure? I mean, Matt Kenseth is a former champion. There is a lot of pressure to compete week in and week out. That's a problem. Blickensturfer also had to deal with the legacy. He followed Robbie Reiser. Robbie Reiser and Matt Kenseth are one of the greatest driver crew chief combinations in the recent history of our sport. That's a problem for Blickensturfer. That's a, that's a legacy to live up to, man. All three of those problems. Problems of expectation. Problems of competitive pressure. Problems of living up to the legacy. He solved them. Drew Blickensturfer had to solve these problems, and he did. He solved the problem of expectations. By lowering expectations, you lower expectations, they're easier to meet. He solved the problem of pressure by not being competitive. He solved the problem of legacy by coming nowhere close to living up to it. The more I thought about it, the more I understood that Drew Blickensturfer faced down his problems and solved them. So Drew Blickensturfer, congratulations. Drew Blickensturfer, you are the Moog problem solver of the year. So congratulations on your award, Drew. Yeah, I hope it looks really good on your mantle right next to your Zippo lighter collection. Congratulations! Drew Blickensturfer, your 2009 Moog Problem Solver of the Year! Year, year, year! Rowdy.com, built by race fans for race fans.